Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm constantly asked about how the paintings are conceived. And so today's video is all about my connection and how I work with the Merling energy. Today, I would like to share a glimpse of the overshadowing of the Merlin energy that occurs most days of my drawing board as I work. Over the years at my talks and workshops, I often demonstrate how thin the veil is between worlds. With the use of dowsing rods, I can show the aura of the painting and then show what happens when I step into that sacred space. Some of the video clips of the demonstration are from some filming I did back in 2015. Hi, so welcome to the source video. Um, this video is going to be about um, the way that I work. People often ask me um, if the designs, the paintings that I've created are actually done on computers and um, they've got kind of no understanding that um, you know this stuff is all hand painted. And um, so I thought that um, this is a good opportunity to actually kind of show you um, um, the background, you know, of um, the way that I work. Um, over the uh, over time, I'm going to be showing you um, lots of videos of me actually kind of painting and creating the art. But um, I thought we'd like to show you um, something of the kind of uh, the magic um, that goes into uh, into uh, creating these pieces of art. Many years ago, a very dear friend of mine, who's a dowser and a, um, a medium, asked me if I ever thought about dowsing the paintings to, to find out the, where the, the energy of the aura um, was. Um, and um, I said that I'd, I'd never even thought about it. Um, even though, you know, I'm, I'm kind of working in that space um, been for 30 years. And, um, and so he said, so he had some dowsing rods and um, he said, well, just walk towards the painting and um, I watched the thousand rods and as I got to um, the kind of the, the edge of the aura of the painting, so the two uh, rods crossed. And he then said, um, okay, so now what happens if you um, walked into that aura using the thousand rods? And he said, the only thing I'm going to say to you is um, to say, as you're walking um, forward um, uh, to the to painting, just say that you're walking into the aura, that you're walking into the aura and just see what happens. And so I thought that um, it was a very magical experience for me. And I thought that I would share that um, magical experience with you.
So you can see that um, when I walked into that uh, that boundary line, um, so the overshadowing of Merlin came in. I actually, in, over the years, I've, I've grown so used to um, Merlin overshadowing that um, I never actually um, experienced it as uh, as kind of deeply as that. It's kind of like um, I've just got so used to the got so used to being in that space, um, being um, being worked in that kind of way. And so it was really, really interesting um, for me, um, kind of going into that space and, um, and the reaction of um, Merlin actually um, uh, connecting and overshadowing. The experience changed how I viewed the paintings after that. And for some reason, although I had this connection each day, and most days because of my book commitment, at the time, I had to complete a painting a day, and that was every day. I never truly recognized the true potency of the art, and that my drawing board and my desk was with a very, very strong, energetic space. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can leave any comments below, and I will try to answer them for you. Please hit the like button, and subscribe if you'd like to see any more of these videos. May your light shine, and God bless each one of you. Thank you.